to the health alert and the measles outbreak. At Manatee Bay Elementary School, health officials are closely monitoring the cases, fearing the contagious infection could spread. Local 10's Hatzel Vela, live now in Weston with the latest. Hatzel. Calvin, you look at the attendance numbers here at this uh, Weston Elementary School, and it is evident that this community remains concerned. In fact, we've got several calls and tips about possible other cases in neighboring schools, but we can tell you at this hour, the health department only confirming the six cases at this school. We know the measles vaccine is extremely effective, has been around for decades, but on Wednesday, we learned 33 students had not been vaccinated for measles at Manatee Bay Elementary. The revelation comes after the Weston School experienced a small outbreak of the highly contagious disease. Measles is one of the more uh, highly contagious uh, illnesses that we see. Dr. Marco Mestre is the chief medical officer at Nicholas Children's Hospital. With measles, you typically get your first dose at one, he says. The second between the ages of four and six tells us what's happening is a good reminder to make sure your kids are up to date with their vaccines. For those individuals that, that aren't vaccinated, then at that point, uh, it does become a, an increased risk and an increased risk not only to the child, but also to spread to others. Uh, possibly other individuals in the home. On Tuesday, we got a hold of what has become a highly criticized letter from the state's Surgeon General who made it optional for students vaccinated or unvaccinated to stay home for 21 days. Some believe unvaccinated kids should have stayed home while the outbreak was controlled. Lack of vaccines in the classroom, the doctor says, could be in part blamed on the COVID-19 pandemic and the vaccine weariness across the country. We've seen a delay in immunizations uh, for children, and we have to make an extra effort. And this just shows why we need to continue to vaccinate and stay up to date with the, uh, the, the childhood immunization schedule. It's a wake-up call in a community that has been left on edge following these cases. And you know parents are nervous as we saw 219 kids out on Tuesday, 174 on Wednesday, and 168 today. And we know since the first uh, case was reported, the district and the health department has to have teamed up to offer free vaccinations, free vaccines, including here at the school for several hours yesterday. For now, reporting live from Weston, I'm Hatzel Vela, Local 10 News. It's a concern for a lot of parents. Hatzel, thank you. Now